Look at that. One of the cops was actually bothered to show up. No need, SWAT's got it covered. What is the situation? Vultures came up with the great idea of robbing the OCP bank. They've got hostages, and they claim there's a bomb. They must be crazy to think that OCP will just let them leave with their money. Was there any sighting of Spike? Not yet. But I'm sure they wouldn't pull such a stunt without their leader. What is the plan? Let me make this clear. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Then you are going to need a new plan. With this buggy brain of yours, you think you still remember how to put the heat on them scumbags? I prefer to serve justice cold. Exactly, is it? Find the manager's office, and we'll go from there. Presence here is unauthorized. So is depriving thousands of people of a roof over their heads. But OCP doesn't seem to mind that. Explain. Delta City. A heaven on earth that OCP plans to build in place of old Detroit? A city of the future where there is no crime or poverty. Do you believe the commercials? Unrealistic plans are not a crime but the ways by which they're pursued may be. In order to create Delta City, OCP must first get rid of people who live in old Detroit. Now that's a topic I'd rather do a story on than you glitching. OCP offered these people investment in the project. The value of their property would cover the cost of entering the business. The later gains will far outweigh the cost, supposedly. You do not believe that. It's OCP. There must be a catch, and I think I found it. The documents say something about additional costs. I believe that's a loophole that OCP placed in order to scam people out of their homes. That is only suspicion. And I need time to prove that my suspicion is true. Time and some of these documents I found. If you detain me, the SWAT jerks will requisition them. You can go, but if you continue to disobey the law, you will be detained. Maybe I should have treated you more like a police officer than OCP's property. Anyway, the city owes you. And I owe you too. I can see you've reached the manager's office. Great. Now look for a switch that unlocks the doors that lead to the vault. If I was- Now, take the doors behind the desk and turn left. I will not contribute to the- Robocop! I knew our founder would send his best! <sighs> We're not done yet. Mr. Becker, you're, you're still alive! I only played dead so I didn't end up like you, with a bomb strapped to my body. Robocop, you have to defuse it. The explosion could cause the company enormous losses. I need the support of a combat engineer. I saw that Orpheus kid playing puzzle games on his brakes. Ask him for help. I'll be watching you, from a safe distance. Officer Washington, I am looking at a ticking bomb. A, a bomb? Okay, I, I'm passing you through to the bomb squad. There is no time. 
I will need your help to defuse it. Gosh, I mean, I, I'll do my best, but, but just give me a moment. First aid, kidnapping... Are you looking for a bomb defusing chapter in the police manual? Found it. First rule, call qualified personnel. Oh, no. Okay, tell me what you see. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Four cables? Got it. Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect. Okay, so they used this kind of bomb before. According to the diagram, you should detach three cables. Start from the one with the highest voltage, then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage. There are two different color 12 volt cables. Which one do I detach first? Uh, okay, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. I will have to improvise. Just remember, detach the one with the highest voltage first, then proceed down to the lowest voltage. It was just a minor incident. Ready to get back to business? Cause I need to make a withdrawal. Like now. Well, I should really check upstairs. Nonsense. This is OCP. Money comes first. <sighs> now, open the vault. Th there you go, sir. Great. Now out of my way. What the hell is this? Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious and resource-heavy project. Uh, I can't believe old man's blowing all of OCP's money on Delta City. Have some respect, young man. Arnold's back with the money in the next... We're leaving. You should be proud to work for such a great man. At this rate, soon there might be no one left to work for him. See what I'm talking about? I am listening, creep. Robocop! Why did Wendell Antonowski send you here? This was a suicide mission. We no longer deal with that arrogant prick. We had an agreement. We held our end of it. And apparently it slipped his mind to pay us for our services. Well, that didn't sit well with us. So now we're out to get what we're owed. The only thing you are owed is a prison cell. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm a vulture. I need my space. I'll see you around, cop. Interventions. Before the attack, we all thought our money would be safe at the OCP bank. I yeah. have pertinent Glad we got Murphy on our team. The case. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go! Dr. Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. Hello, Robocop. Congratulations. I've seen your accomplishment on TV. I hope that I'll manage to remain professional despite sitting opposite a celebrity. How do you feel about being acclaimed as a hero again? I serve the public trust. I do not do it for fame. No. Your sense of duty is what drives you, that's clear. I'm sure you'd love to share this accomplishment with Anne Lewis. 
You've seen her at the hospital, haven't you? How is she? She is stable. You cherish that relationship, don't you? She's an important part of your life. Your past life, too. She is. Just like your family. You're very protective of your past. OCP cut me off from my family. And how do you view their decision to separate you from them? They would not want to see me like this. Perhaps not. But the alternative isn't much better. Nevertheless, you still think about them, don't you? What comes to mind when you try to remember your family? I see. Memories can be painful. Especially when they're connected to the ones you love. They tend to remind us of what we're missing. The thief that broke into my house I mentioned before. He was my brother. He was an addict who'd come over to steal things to sell so he could buy drugs. As you can imagine, my last memory of us together is not a happy one. But despite that, I still wouldn't want to lose it. It serves as a reminder of how I failed him. And I've been trying to rectify it ever since. I do not remember my family. I can only feel them. These feelings, how do they manifest themselves? As echoes of the past. But OCP sees them as obstacles that need to be removed. And now you're afraid that they sent me here to convince you they are right? Did they? What you need to understand is that regardless of outside influences, my client's well-being takes highest priority. Especially now that I understand how important these memories are to you, I will fight for you in every way I know how. If you let me. I think this is a good place to end this session. Thank you for your honesty. It certainly has been noted. Just keep following the road. But the road ends here. <laughs> what was that? Oh, uh, you're breaking up. Am I? I'm, I'm hearing you clearly. Oh my god, what a lemon. You two seem to be enjoying yourselves. Uh, just having a little fun with our fellow dispatcher. Don't worry, I'm sure the kid has a sense of humor. It's just a little blue hazing. And he's an OCP stooge anyway. You're not going soft on us, are you, Murphy? That did not sound like fun. It's not like he didn't deserve it. You know that he runs to Becker with a stack of papers every time you two talk, right? He's a rat. We're just looking out for you, Murphy. All right. The situation at the bank was contained in a relatively smooth fashion. So what did we learn from it? When it's their money on the line, OCP will send RoboCop, the entire SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst, and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative, under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. We need to find Spike. The attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Talk to him. And, oh, I almost forgot. Murphy? Once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real-life royalty. Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough! Head downtown, ask around, and most importantly, find Spike. May I help you, Mr. Mayor? Oh, it's me who's gonna do the helping. You know John Mills, I presume? The OCP puppet who's gunning for my seat as mayor. I've heard from a reliable source that he's planning to make you the highlight of his election bid. Judging by your expressive face, he hasn't talked to you about it yet, huh? That's what I figured. What a slimy bastard. Using your image to influence the good people of this city, and without your consent? That's clearly something that I would never do. But. You know that I've always appreciated what you're doing for our city, right? So, the real question is, what are we gonna do about it together? I am not involved in politics. Well, well, let's not get too hasty. You can still show support for me, right? We're on the same side. I need to go.
Campaign season is busy, but let me leave you with one word of advice. Whatever you do, make it clear that you are not siding with meals. You can be sure that they'll twist your every word and use it against you. That's what OCP does. Thanks for the talk, Robocop. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. How are you feeling after the incident at the bank? Who gives a shit? I heard that you're heading to the city. Once you're out there, I want you to check one apartment for me. There's suspicion of domestic terrorism and corporate espionage, so expect a warm welcome. Should I assume hostility from the suspect? I assume you'll find sensitive data there. Look for it thoroughly and make sure it comes straight back to my hands. Tenement across the street from the arcade, apartment 12. Now go, I've got to prepare for a meeting. And remember, if you won't take care of it, another cop will have to. Another cop that isn't quite as resistant to deadly surprises as you are. Waiting for you upstairs. This entrance to the building is off limits. You have to Do use the staircase. Doesn't matter. So, it's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. Oh, it's good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See, I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood, nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city. A new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? I agree with all city improvement plans that have the citizens' well-being in mind. Glad to know you approve. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? The only burden it causes is to criminal scum. I admire your confidence. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems, and it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? I am happy to comply with any activity that improves effectiveness. You're a good sport. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? My partner has been severely wounded and is being treated at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I'll make sure she gets the best care there is. Thank you. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Take care of yourself. 
After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. Oh. Holy shit! What was that? Robocop. Not such a piece of junk after all. Hey Murphy, are you done with the old man's tea party? Remember to get back in touch with your informer. See if he has any info that could get us back on the biker's lead. Spike is still out there. Whoa. It's getting so cold. Luckily, the previous owner didn't need this jacket anymore. And it has no bullet holes. Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening? Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. Has working with the police not made you change your ways? I need to keep up appearances. Otherwise, I wouldn't be much use as an informer, now would I? Now, tell me. What's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So, your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gail. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Any witnesses? Ah, uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. He's nosy. Maybe he could help. Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? <laughs> Not so much on it as with it. From what I gathered, the bike suffered more than just a dent. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think Ben's shop is the closest. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. <laughs> That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? If it helps you stay out of trouble, let us proceed. Yeah, it'll solve all my problems. Let's go! So there's this movie about a guy with a gun, and there's this bad guy who wants something. I'm pretty sure the title has some biblical reference in it. You lack vital information on the subject. Okay, let's start searching. Remember, the title has something to do with the Bible. Saints, uh, cosmos, or whatever. Let's start by checking the thriller and drama sections. Should we ask the owner? <laughs> Forget him. He has no idea about movies. He thinks that Salamanca deserved the Golden Piston for the best picture. I heard that. And it did. Garden of Earthly Delights. Oh man, great movie. Very elegant. Panned by the critics, though. But the director is a badass. He personally showed up to one of those ceremonies to accept the award for the worst movie of the year. We do not need to bow to outside pressure. Easier said than done, my man. Diamonds are made under great pressure. Wait, you think there's a diamond within me? Do you see my shine? I'm just messing with you. That was truly inspirational. But let's get back to it, because that's not our take. Kind Shepherd? Love that one. You know that movie could have never happened. The director threw out the script after reading a couple of pages. Thankfully, his wife picked it out of the trash, and after reading it, she forced her husband to give it another look. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do we? I'm not so sure about that. Alex Murphy was given a second chance. But he... I mean, you really deserved it. Which is something I couldn't say about a lot of people. Anyway, I don't want to spoil the mood, but that's not the tape we're looking for. Celestial Decay. Classic. Still waiting for a sequel. But the guy who did that one has never made a part two in his career. But he said that if he ever did, he'd do a sequel to that one. 
Uh, how do you feel about that? Sequels, remakes, comic book adaptations, etc. You cannot reopen a closed book. So when you're done, you're done? That's rough. Probably true. Anyway, risking to sound like a broken record, that's not the tape we're looking for. Eve's flower. Beautiful depiction of violence in that one. Do you think violence can be beautiful? It's just shown with a different sensibility to what we're used to. Maybe because the guy's European. You know how they are. It's different. It's cool, is all I'm saying. Recognizing beauty in something ugly is a unique feature. <sighs> Doesn't pay the bills, though. Then again, I don't have bills to pay anyway. You know movies. There is value in that. Yep. There's nothing better than a good movie. But... We're still missing our tape. Hey, I think I found it. I messed up the title a little. It's called Me, Sire, but here it is. <sighs> Isn't that the tape we're looking for? <clears throat> tape? What? What tape? You like movies? Do you want to shoot an action movie? I, I think I'll wait till it comes out on VHS. Lights, camera, action! <laughs> <laughs> I need a hand over here! Do you need assistance? First, I hear a bunch of movie puns. And then everyone starts shooting. It all happens so fast. Where is Pickles? He ran out the back door. Where will I find him? I don't know. But, uh, homeless or not, you still have to give an address to get a membership card. Try the computer. Maybe you'll find something there. Greetings, citizen. Sorry, officer, but I got no one to help since my best mechanic got slaughtered. None of you cops did jack about it. I am here in regards to a fugitive. Oh, damn. What is wrong with this thing? I need to get that car down, or God knows what might happen. Can you help me out with this? It's new, and I don't know where I put the manual. Stand back. Go on, then. Let's see how it's done. I thought you knew how to bring that car down. Can't be that hard. It doesn't start. Pop the hood. So, do you know what the problem is? The coil has been disconnected. That would explain the car not starting. I detected an electric current inside the cooling tank. I recommend grounding it to fix the problem, but I am sure that you knew about that already. What? I mean, I would never miss such a thing. Spark plugs are not the main culprit. There is no power. Battery is fine, stable, above 12 volts. That's one thing checked off then. <laughs> It started. We're on the money. Well done, Robocop. You are one serious Swiss Army man. I am best at catching criminals. I should get back to it. You said earlier you were looking for someone. A biker. Have you repaired any motorcycles recently? As a matter of fact, I did. This big, chunky guy showed up. Bald head, big ears, and spiky beard. Wasn't really warm and cuddly, but he paid cash in advance. So why would I refuse? Do you know the whereabouts of this individual? I don't, but he asked me if I do paint jobs too, then showed me a ripped out page that had a tattoo design on it. He asked me to spray a mean looking bird onto his gas tank. Why do you think the design was intended for a tattoo? The page he handed me had other graphics, which were clearly tattoo designs. And, as far as I remember, it had the address of a tattoo parlor that's close by printed on the bottom of the page. Thank you for the information. Proceeding to the tattoo parlor. You're all right. Talk. Ah, uh, I overheard some torchhead saying that they were running away from the cops and went through that video store. They had a wad of drug money on them and didn't want the cops taking it, so they hid it in one of the VHS cases. I misheard the title, so... I needed help. That is not the kind of help I was willing to provide. Come on, 
Give me a break. I, I fucked up, I know. And I get that you're on a mission to save my life or something. With all that great advice of yours. Diamonds are made under great pressure. I'm not a fucking diamond, okay? I'm a junkie. There's just one thing that I need right now. Which is? All I need right now is a fix. So, let me keep the money. You won't hear me asking about anything else. Are you asking a police officer to leave you with money from Nuke Distribution? I know you're a police officer first, but can't you be a friend this one fucking time? I am not doing this as a police officer. I am doing it as a friend. Hand over the case. You, you can't do this to me, man. I just did. Fuck you, Tin Man. I earned that money fair and square. Sure thing. It's Officer Rat. He should be in one of the dumpsters. Officer Washington, I will be your field trainer for today. Requesting readiness confirmation. Yeah, thanks for the offer, but maybe the others are right. I might not really be cut out for field work. If we live the way others want us to live, what kind of life would it be? Or rather, whose? You're right. I want to be my own man. Officer Washington reporting for field training. Good, you have your body armor on. Well done. What about the rest of your gear? Service pistol? Got it. Spare ammunition? Check. Duty light? Never part with it. Good job. Preparation is the most important. So is knowing your surroundings. Are you familiar with this area? Isn't this the part of the city where it gets really busy like all the time? Police! I think that answers my question. Please! I need your help! Set the radio to my channel and follow me. Roger that! An officer needs to be confident. Straight back, sturdy walk, together with a clear and unshaking voice. Officers, thank God you're here. I really need your help. What happened is... When responding to a request for aid, the first thing is to introduce yourself to the potential victim. Watch and learn. I am Officer Murphy. How do you do, madam? Well, to tell you the truth... The second thing is to reassure the victim of their safety. Madam, you do not need to be afraid anymore. We are here to help you. Yes, but it's not about me. The third thing is... I'm quite familiar with the field training manual, so if you don't mind, I'll take over. Ma'am, could you please tell us what happened? It's my cat, Fortune. He's missing. Fortune is my biggest treasure. I can't lose him. Do you have any idea where he might be? The only place I can think of is the basement. I've also heard some ruckus coming from downstairs today, but the lights aren't working and my eyesight's not so good anymore. Is it okay for us to investigate the basement? Yes, it makes an excellent opportunity for low light training. Let us proceed downstairs. Good luck down there. The cat has that name for a reason. He really brings fortune. So don't you come back without him. Turn your flashlight on. Right. Duty light can be advantageous, but it can also be a liability. Keeping it close to you creates a clear target for the violators. It is good practice to hold the duty light away from your body. I don't remember reading that in the field manual. Did you get it from a different book? No, from experience. Hey, I think I just saw the cat. You think I should try to remove these planks? Go ahead. Wow! I didn't know I had so much strength in me. You will never know until you try. Ah, oh, man, I walked into a mess. And now my shoes are covered in strawberry jam. When chasing a suspect, do not rush head first. Take blind corners as wide as possible. Cuts down on being surprised. The fugitive has left the trail. This time, pace yourself. Do not get out of breath during a foot pursuit. You will need stamina to engage the fugitive later. Oh, looks like he stopped by the spill paint can. Suspect might be intoxicated. I used to know these kids who gave their cat stomach medicine to make it loopy. Is there a moral to that story? 
Cats are susceptible to substance misuse. Psh! I heard something. That cat must be hiding inside. Let me lure it out. Go ahead. There it is! It's escaping! Darn it! Who'd have thunk that being small can actually have its advantages? An eager police officer with a small build is worth twice as much as a big slacker. Good work, Officer Washington. Thank you, sir. What was that? There he is. Oh, gosh, Fortune. You look a mess. You think he's all right? The cat is fine. You can take it back to its owner. I will clean up any remaining mess. OK, see you soon. It's Washington. Do you read me? Loud and clear, what is your status? You got a problem. I'm on the second floor and have a visual on multiple armed suspects entering our location. Most of them are heading your way, but I can hear some coming up the stairs. Do not engage yet. Take your time and find the most advantageous location. Got it. Officer Washington? Sir. Keep cool. I am coming up to have your back. Glad to hear that, sir. I can't oh, fuck! I don't think I can hold him off for much longer, sir. We're in, pig. No- ah! What is your status? I'm hit. Remain calm. I am here. Officer Washington, your performance today was impressive. Thank you, sir. Means a lot coming from you. You will be fine. It is only a superficial wound. See? I've told you that cat brings luck. Isn't this just wonderful? Full metal armor and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. I am not here for that. A tattoo, then? It'll really bring out that jawline. Having a tattoo on the face is against the police code of conduct. Isn't that boring? Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? A biker called Spike. I heard he was your customer. I don't serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. Are you denying making tattoos for the street vultures? <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. Do you? You still here? I found evidence of your connections to the biker gang. Uh, I'm not telling you nothing, cop. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. It is your choice if you want to join them. Ah, oh, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. He brought this on himself. Where is he? Uh, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper. I don't know. You can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Ah. Oh. I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. Hey, Robocop. Mr. Mills would like to have a word. He's waiting in the car. It is an honor to finally meet the hero of the city in person. It's a shame that our basketball team can't fill us with similar pride. Yeah, just lost to Atlanta. Some say it's because of a lack of team players. Do you think it's that important? Being a team player? Cooperation among police officers helps increase efficiency. And not just among police officers. I'm glad you look at it that way. As for me, I have always valued team play. That was the way things were when my parents worked for the city. My grandfather used to tell me that this neighborhood was a great place for an evening stroll. Now it's different. Kuzak allows the city to be taken over by criminals. He can't stop it because he's not a team player. He fails to realize that OCP has given this city its most precious treasure. You. I want to work with you and OCP to improve this city. I want to take care of your interests. It's about time someone did. But to make it a reality, 
we would need your support. So, what do you think about getting involved in politics? I follow politics, but I do not take sides. So you allow others to use you, becoming a pawn. You are the symbol of the city. Everything you do, everything you say has a political impact. No matter if you talk privately or publicly, you should choose what you want to represent. Incompetence and unaccountability or partnership and determination. Only one of these paths leads Detroit to its former glory. You say you value team play. Together, let's form a team for the good of this city. We have a common goal. Together, it will be easier to achieve it. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. We're already late for another meeting. Now think about what we've discussed. About what we can do for this city. Together, as a team. I count on your support. Silverboy, the tracker says you were near the apartment of that domestic terrorist we talked about. Your memory is probably glitchy, so I figured I'd send you a friendly reminder. Check the place out. How do you guys end these? Over and out? There's no need. Over and out. Ugh. So OCP is ordering you to break into the apartment of a reporter they don't like? Any comment before I write a story on that? I am here to investigate domestic terrorism. OCP sent you to my safe house because they want to know what I have on them after the bank incident. I assume there is more if you cannot store everything here. I found a rental bill for a locker in a storage facility. Make up your mind. First you let me go at the bank, and now, when I'm actually starting to figure out what the OCP scam is all about, you show up and ruin this. Do you want to help OCP avoid liability? Your evidence is invalid if you obtained it illegally. I don't collect it for the court. I won't win against OCP there. It turns out I was right. That thing that OCP plans to do with charging residents of old Detroit with additional costs, it is a loophole. It will lead to the illegal expulsion of thousands of people if you help OCP silence me. Explain. Not so fast. I need to be able to trust you first. At the bank, you proved that you are more than just a tool programmed to obey OCP, but now the stakes are higher. What is it that you expect? Since you're here, I fully expect someone from OCP to go and check my locker. I need to protect what's inside. But there's a meeting I need to keep an eye on. Too much depends on it. I will not be involved in the smuggling of contraband. There's nothing illegal about my request. I need only one box from there. The one with the inscription, Bakery on the Corner. The rest you can leave to OCP to pick up. I need to just spring clean my out-of-date documents anyway. Call me once you secure the box. Man, it's Robocop. So what? We're just sitting here, enjoying the moment, nothing suspicious. Right, officer? Shouldn't we give the fellows the signal? We should just shut up and smile like the exemplary citizens that we are. Trouble with the lock. Uh, seems that I forgot the key, but, uh... You will tell your story at the station. Are you sure you have enough seats in your car to take us all? If you do not come quietly, I will not need any. Well, well, well. Looks like Mr. Becker was right. You're up to something behind his back. These things are supposed to go to Mr. Becker, I reckon. What will interest Becker is in locker number 17. The contents of this box are none of OCP's concern. I'll have to tell Mr. Becker that you have not given us all the material. I assure you that it will end up worse for you than for me. So I'm 
guessing you have my stuff. Did OCP arrive at the party? They tracked my location. Because they trust you so much. Speaking of which, the box. What if I lied about it? Did you ever think of that? There may be a bomb inside, or the head of my sworn enemy. Do you want to know what's inside? No. The sound of your voice does not indicate that you are lying. Just don't depend on your lie detector when you talk to politicians. In the box are my personal belongings. Letters, memorabilia, things that actually matter to me. When you become too tough to hit directly, the scum will try to get to you through your loved ones. I understand. So we have even more in common. Once OCP takes care of my old documents, I'll have the space to deal with the Delta City issue and help the people of old Detroit. You've helped them already, though. Thank you. Ronnie's Grocery. Leave the box there. I have Samantha's belongings. Ah, uh, yes, I'm glad you're helping her. Without that girl, OCP would put us all in the street. Still might. They did a number on a lot of families, hers included. Samantha's mother took it worst. But that's not a story for me to tell. Anyway, uh, leave the box in the back, next to the cat food. She's supposed to pick up everything tomorrow. Murphy, could you give us a hand? It's gotten real ugly in there. What happened? Can you believe this? A bunch of repeat offenders came up with a bright idea to storm the courthouse. For some reason, they think that if they destroy it, their prior convictions will go away. They took hostages and are now demanding both a 6,000 SUX and a plane to Acapulco. Acapulco is a war zone. I don't think these guys follow the news. But I'm afraid that it may be too late to rescue the hostages if we wait for SWAT. If they want to fly into a war zone, I have first-class tickets for them. Stay here, and the police will come to question you. Hey, Robo! You showed them. It was a pleasure to work with you. Still no joy with the broadcast! Fucking OCP's good for nothing, piece of shit. Be quiet, you moron! Yes, you get working in no time, Mr. Wendell, sir. Yes, you won't screw it up. He's using you, just like he used us. He hired us. He failed to deliver. That's why I'm sorry. Oh. Ah. Oh. Talk about a sore loser. You had your chance and you blew it. Now it's the torture's turn. Deal with it, biker bitch. Saw it yourself. We are all the same. You needed us to extract brains from corpses. Why brains? We would never say when the corpses caught the streets. Where is it? Now. My bed is in Operator, requesting an ambulance. One unconscious fugitive suffering heavy blood loss. First, they can't even connect a few fucking cables. 
And now they don't even answer. the new guy. He's waiting for some big week to show up. He's planning to do some psycho presentation. And who is the big wig? That's what I want to find out. Mr. W, we still have no contact with the funhouse. I'm on the phone. We're ready. I understand, but please tell him that this is not a meeting that can be postponed. I see. So, they ain't coming, right? Fucking suits! Keep your anger to yourself, or I'll share mine with you. Robo? Who's there? Show yourself! You'd better not. As you wish, creep. You are under arrest. Come quietly. Do you really believe that's what's gonna happen? Take care of him, boys. I'll meet you on the roof. What's up, metal freak? Forget where you left your car? You better go, Miss Ortiz. It seems there will be trouble. Is that, Is that you? you? Come, Come to, to us. us. Yeah, yeah Dad, Dad, we're waiting, waiting for, for you. you. It's not, not even, even a, police a police officer. officer. I, don't I don't know, know what, what it is anymore. anymore. police officer killed in the line of duty, were used to create some kind of a metal monster. I need to bury it to move forward with my life. Do you have a funeral suit that would fit that empty shell? Okay. It thinks itself as human. A world-class husband. A father. A cop. Did you, Did you hear? hear? It's, it's true. true. You're, You're not, not one, one of us, us anymore. anymore. 
You're not human. And you're not a real cop. You're just the rotting remains of Alex Murphy. You're something that should never have been. Something that should not exist. We have to fix you. We have to erase you. And we will. Just come to us. Come to the rooftop. We're waiting. It's the craft that is stuck to our shoe. A cuckoo egg planted by OCP. We need to clear our station of this shit. We must smash that thing. Fire at will! You're not one of us. You feel that too, don't- You're back. There's coffee in the kitchen. Dad, can you fix the camera? I think something's broken. Hey, you fixed it! Remember I'm playing a game this afternoon? Dad wouldn't miss it, would he? Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. Do you really have to go? You look so sexy in that uniform. Why won't you stay a little longer? Why are you here? Do you not love your family? No attachments. No leverage. This. Everyone wants to be back home with their families. No! Welcome, Chopper. Let's, Let's take, take a, stroll a stroll through your... your... Oh. Do you think you can just go back? Go on with your life like nothing happened. This is a one-family... built by ZM Industries. It's for sale because the head of the family to which it belonged was shot in the head. Your family has forgotten. Why do you want to remember them? You attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Have you thought it over? Why not make me an offer? Why carry this burden? What is your sacrifice worth? Holding on to them makes you weak. Destroy them! Destroy them before they destroy you! Alex Murphy, the one and the only. I'm here because you have something that belongs to me. You have my badge. Lewis gave it to me. Lewis is hurt because of you. Because you keep insisting that you're something that you're not. That you are still me and that I simply came back to life, but you're wrong. I'm dead and I want to finally rest, but you won't let me. Your delusions keep tormenting me and my family. You need to let us go. I want my badge back. I have it. So I remember. Remember what? The lie? Lewis knows us. She would not lie. Give it to me. It's mine. But, Lewis. I want it back. This is my badge. Then I'll have to take it back myself.
You are strong, strong enough, enough to take him. him. Don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Take this gift. Don't forget who you are. Alex Murphy! Get up, Robo. Get up, for God's sake. That's it, Robo. Keep going. Where's the chopper? The cops will be here any- Wendell Antonowski. Haven't you had enough yet? You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Relax. <laughs> I I'm not your enemy. If I were, you would have already- <laughs> You have the right to an attorney. I... I wanted to help you. Release you from the burden of your past life, of your memories. But you, you don't want to lose them, right? Now I get it. Anything you say may be used against you. I can give you back those memories. All of them. We should help each other. We have the same boss! Police! God damn it, you again? People need to see this. Cuff him. He is a cop killer. Hands behind your back! Can you hand me my lighter? It's a family heirloom. I wouldn't want to lose it. You mean this trinket? It'll be safer in the prison depository. You'll pick it up yourself in... I don't know. 150 years? Plenty of time for rehabilitation. Top story. Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, has been apprehended today. Robocop was able to capture Antonowski, as reported by an eyewitness, Channel 9 Samantha Ortiz. Unfortunately, no footage of the event has emerged. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding his status as a human being. Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, Robocop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant Robocop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery. Wendell's in prison and the old man is on his way out? Could this day be any better? Geez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? Someone is fighting for my rights. That's probably the healthiest way of looking at it. But the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? Yes, I deserve it. And why is that? I am human. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue, but no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might not be aware of that, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? I do not know. Don't worry. You're not alone on this. I am here to help you figure it out. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation. 
Similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Corrupted visions of my past. I think we're onto something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. What did you do this time? Uh, why does it have to be that I did something? Maybe one of your guys just got a little overeager. Did they? No. But none of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We? We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the they lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Talk to you later, partner. Yeah, Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces. Time. But we still what? have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Wendell's payroll? All signs point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him? Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington, and let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? She is an enormous help. She listens. Good. That's good to hear. Sometimes that's all it takes. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. Come on, give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Ah, oh, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just got to hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on, this is time to celebrate. Lewis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail. Let's party. If you don't think a strike is brewing... You know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Lewis. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often. And with greater intensity. I don't think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me. So I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who... shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I... 
that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. Neither of us could have predicted the consequence of our actions. That doesn't make me feel any less guilty. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now, after all this time? And why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. Damn, Becker. We should just lock him up already. We do not have proof. Not yet. I don't know if you heard, but the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk, but it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it. Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. Michael, is that you? Your halo shines so bright. Someone in OCP was supporting Wendell's operations. I want to know who. Robocop? Oh God, I'm getting close to my final days. And I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? Fragments of my past life flashed before my eyes, and they keep flashing. Perhaps I am still dead. You can't be, regardless of what the papers say. I believe that death isn't the end. You are walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. <sighs> Before you go, could you be so kind and give me some painkillers? That's better. I can always count on you, can't I? Thank you, son. The helicopter is on its way, sir. Perfect. Oh, good news. Is there a problem? This man is preventing me from exposing OCP's hypocrisy. The way this hospital treats its patients is the best depiction of what OCP wants to do with this city. A brave policewoman shot in the line of duty is crammed into a small room while the old man has a cozy VIP wing of the hospital all to himself. This is what Delta City stands for, even bigger division. But the time you had your tonsils removed, you were staying in the VIP wing, too. We're not talking about me. We need to talk about the people. Robocop, please stop this madness. Make a statement. That policewoman is your partner, isn't she? So tell us, doesn't she deserve better? A hospital is not an appropriate place for political scuffles. Just what I expected from an OCP robot. They want to ruin this city. They want to take it away from the citizens, but I won't let them. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak.
Becker's intentions become clear, maybe he wants to thank you for catching Wendell. I only seek answers. You came. So you can follow a command. Surprising. Surrender, or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop. Meet the future of law enforcement. Power like yours, but at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. Sons, what's going on? Becker has introduced me to his new robots. Ah, oh, they're like QEDs? They're already functional? Mr. Becker bragged about them during my onboarding. I'll try to find something that can help. Just give me a sec. Mission of justice. Stop resisting. It's continue the fire. What the hell just happened? Becker! Oh, just stop right there. Great performance, Robocop. And Mr. Becker. It was an excellent presentation. You promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave. And you really did. Yes. I've been working on UEDs for the past five I years. I meant Robocop. He's proved once again that he's still the top player. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable source. You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control. And until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! Well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for your presentation. I'll be watching the progress of your project. But until then, keep up the excellent work, Robocop. And you better keep an eye on that remote. It's a new age, and you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains, no glitching, total control. So that's it? You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's Robocop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike. That's the spirit, old timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you, too. Murphy, briefing room, now! First of all, I don't want to hear a word about those damn robots. We have a job to do. Now that the milk is spilled, we are looking for a mole in OCP that's been protecting Antonowski. As hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. Yeah, but he's still a prick. Sure is, but there's still a mole that we need to find. It's gotta be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. So? We start by asking the source. What are you suggesting? I pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. Listen, I wanted to say that I misjudged you. My crusade is against OCP. You were just collateral. So to extend an olive branch, I'd, I'd like to give you this. 
What is it? It's the tape of you glitching the other day at the mall. It's the only copy, so you can do whatever you want with it. I am sure your TV station would love to play the tape. Yeah, that's why you need to take it before I change my mind. Thank you. Now that I have you here, can I interview you as a consolation prize? They want me to ask you about the election. Seems that people value your opinion. I would be happy to oblige. Okay, roll the tape. I'm here at Metro West conducting an interview with a man that needs no introduction. Robocop. One of the more contentious points brought up during the election is the construction of Delta City. Many believe that Delta City will destroy old Detroit. Mayor Kuzak spoke at length about the illegal evictions that OCP has been planning in order to start the construction. Other candidates, namely John Mills, believe that Delta City is a chance to clean up the city. What are your thoughts on this subject? Is Delta City the future of old Detroit? Delta City is the hope for old Detroit. So you agree with Mills that the benefits that Delta City will bring will make up for all the harm that OCP has done in its name? Thank you for clarifying your stance on this important topic. This has been Robocop for Channel 9. Samantha Ortez, signing off. Thanks for the interview, Robo. We'll get out of your hair as soon as we're done packing up the equipment.